Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. We have the Nine of Cups um, flinging itself out before I'm ready, really. So they could dislike the fact that you seem to have everything you want around you, everything you need around you, that you're in a pretty good place by yourself. Um, so this could trigger some insecurities in them. They might be saying, well, I'm not sure what I can offer, what I can bring to the table. Um, maybe they're used to more codependent styles of relationships rather than interdependent here um, and it could make them feel nervous another thing that's coming through is they might feel like it at times and you know this could be true or not it might just be how they're reading the situation they might feel that you might um be a bit almost smug sometimes you know it's like you know if you want something you can get it you can make it happen you can work for it you can have it whatever it is um so you're kind of sort of pleased with yourself almost and maybe they're reading it as a bit a bit sort of smug there um there could be a bit of jealousy coming from them i won't go there yet i'm not seeing that but um yeah the nine of cups is all about you know i have these nice things around me they're all for me i'm not in a place where i'm thinking of sharing this i don't need to share this um and i'm not looking for anything from anyone i've got everything i want so depending on um the kind of person you know that you're dealing with you might recognize either that they have some insecurity that's triggered by this or they could be even projecting possibly um and feeling like at times yeah there is a bit of smugness here maybe maybe at times there is maybe at times you do feel quite pleased with yourself and you know good for you why not <laughs> okay so what else please what else is my viewers person struggling with not liking disliking about this situation this connection or even about my viewer please ace of wands reversed oh justice okay i'll just pause here something that's coming through that they're struggling with and not quite liking is um something that actually they brought upon themselves they feel right now especially with this nine of cups um that if they come towards you you may not want to give them an opportunity here. You may not be interested in starting um, something new with them. And with justice being here, I'm seeing this is fair, it's balanced. So this decision that you've made or that they are assuming you would make or have made is based off of some sort of um, behavior or interaction in the past. So if your person you know, wasn't really showing up in the best way in the past and you kind of had enough and you cut things off, that's appropriate behavior you know you you were looking out for yourself you were protecting yourself here but at the same time for them it's almost like they don't like that maybe they can't have another chance with you they don't like that they messed up um that's how they're looking at things here now it might not be this way at all you might be saying yes i'm open to a new beginning or if this is at the start i'm open to seeing where this goes but um this is how they're perceiving things i notice as well on the back we have death in reverse so if there's been an ending your person does not like this in fact they would like to undo this they want to reconnect with this spark of passion here so if you were very um warm with them in the past if there was lots of passion here momentum excitement enthusiasm and you've pulled back for one reason or another that's also something that they um but they don't like they miss that actually they want that back we have libra we have scorpio with um death okay what else please what does this person not like about this connection situation or my viewer King of Wands in the reverse. When this came out, I was hearing, don't you see me? As in, you know that that um, phrase, do you know who I am? Or don't you know who I am? So, <laughs> that's the, the feeling behind this. It's like they're saying, if you, I'm hearing some really funny, hilarious things in my head, but essentially, if you are interested in something that's dynamic, exciting, passionate, they're kind of saying hello well i'm the one for you you know um but I, I feel that even if you are interested in them it's almost like you might be saying you know crossing your arms looking the other way and saying okay fine but you need to you know show me something some change behavior or follow through on your words or some sort of um you know some some different action here or something like that so i feel there's a part of them that wants to have your attention back but 
are they willing to do you know kind of what they need to to have it that's the question Yeah, look at this, exactly, the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. You're incredibly self-sufficient, independent. They see you as, um, well, first of all, very attractive. Sometimes the Nine of Pentacles is a card of admiring a person without them noticing, or at least we think they haven't noticed. They could have spotted us and they're, you know, pretending they haven't seen us. So maybe you know if your person does admire you from a distance, but you're not letting on if you know. Um, so they are admiring you, they are trying to keep an eye on you if they have a way to do so. If not, they're thinking about you and their perception of you is that um, you really have everything you need around you. You've got lots of abundance in terms of happiness, in terms of wealth, in terms of um, your successes, however those are measured by you, know, you or your person here. Um, and really, if you let them into your life, if you want to have another opportunity with them, it's going to be purely because you want to. There's absolutely nothing that you need here is um, is how they feel. And that does make them feel a bit insecure is what I'm seeing. Okay, what else? Um, with justice, I don't know if maybe you, you're literally a Libra, an air sign, um, but what I was going to say is that I don't know if you've always been this way in this connection or if there has been a change. What I feel is there's been some sort of a shift, but it's like your person sees you as being more in your headspace now. If something happens, you weigh out the pros and the cons. You know, you don't just go with your, with your gut feeling or what you're feeling in your heart space because of maybe some past disappointments here. Um, you're not easily fooled. Um, you can see the truth. I'm, I'm hearing third eye, you know, your third eye chakra, chakra is very balanced or maybe even very active and you're seeing the truth of um, everything, everything around you concerning this person, this connection, but everything else as well. You're just not someone who's going to be fooled and you're not someone who is going to, you know, follow your heart even though it's it's maybe you know there are red flags everywhere you're going to weigh things up you're showing up as very balanced now the only reason this is causing them concern is because I have to say it looks like there is a behavior here that they know they would need to change so they're kind of admitting indirectly maybe they haven't been showing up in a way that they that would pass your test you know your balance here the scales of justice they wouldn't pass they wouldn't get through um so they know they know there's something here that, that would need to change and i don't know why they're resistant i mean i guess we'll see they essentially they know that you need for them to step up um to make some changes and that that is appropriate and correct not just in your eyes but they know it too and maybe even objectively many people would say yeah that that's appropriate that makes sense okay we have the two of wands and we have the five of swords in reverse yeah so they might think and feel that you do think about them you do miss them but again he's being very thoughtful you know he's not going to just leap off the side um here he's looking down he's thinking should i step forward into something new should i stay where i am is that more comfortable is that better for me and i think one of the reasons that your person feels you're more cautious now is because there have been arguments in the past there's been conflict whether between you maybe this connection has caused inner confusion conflict turmoil and you're out of that you're clear of that for the most part and you don't want to step back into that Okay, we have the Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, exactly. You're not just following your heart. Maybe in the past you were looking a lot at the potential within the, within this connection where it could go, but you know maybe you weren't actually seeing the effort being put in. You weren't seeing this materialize in the three D. So. You know, it, I think there's something here about self-protection because the Ten of Cups is huge energy, massive, you know, heart chakra activation. It's you're all in. There's so much love here. Um, picturing the future, you know, from now until the end of this incarnation. So full on in really deep and to be disappointed when you're, you know, giving that much of yourself, of your feelings could be really painful, really crushing, actually. So now I feel for this self-protection you have become 
um, you're, you're definitely doing a head and heart balance sort of thing here. You've become more logical or more um, in terms of how you look at this and your person and their actions. And you might now be saying, yes, I have these feelings, but I'm not just interested in the potential of what this could be. I want to see what it is and where it is actually going. So this King of Wands over here, whether your person's a fire sign or not, they're showing up as, as someone who's saying, I have all of the passion um, that you want, that you need. But, you know, the King of Pentacles in reverse can, sorry, not Pentacles, Wands can be um, a bit selfish or a bit sort of um, hot-headed. Um, someone who maybe needs to mature a little bit in this fire sort of energy here. With me saying the king of pentacles in reverse you may have got a lot of passion from this person but not much stability not much commitment not much certainty i'm hearing either maybe you were never certain if you reach out to them will you hear back if you arrange a meeting or a date will they actually cancel or will it go ahead back to this five of swords lots of inner stress as well Ooh, look at this see nine of swords very worried, not happy. Um, see how, as well, these people here, these sort of ghouls are pointing at this person, almost saying, this is because of you, it's your fault. So this is what this person's telling themselves, whether it's true or not, they're saying to themselves, the fact that you are now in this energy of, the, of justice here, of balance, of logic, is their fault. It's because in the past, you know, you were open, open hearted, you were trusting, um, and they maybe took advantage or thought they had more time or something like that. Look at this, two of cups on the back. Okay, this king of wands reversed. Is he afraid to change? Does he want to change? What's going on with this person? I ju I'm just saying he because of the king of wands, but you know, um, it could be a man or woman that you're here for. We have the lovers in reverse. The shadow side of the lovers, very close to the devil here. So Gemini energy. Um, well, we have the two of cups, we have the lovers. High vibrational soul connection here, twin flames um, even possibly. And that's that's from your person's perspective, you know. So I get lots of questions. Um, I forgot again. If you'd like to book a reading with me, my readings are open. The link is in the description box. And I just remembered to say that because in my personal readings, sometimes um, I'll get questions around, does this person you know, do they believe we're twin flames or soulmates? Do they know about, um, you know, these terms? Are they looking it up? That sort of thing. So um, in this case, even if your person doesn't officially know the terms or they're not interested in the terms, if they have the feelings there. The fear here is how do they get themselves out of, and you and this connection, out of its shadow side? They're in the shadow side because they've been asking themselves, you know, what happened? What went wrong? In which ways did I show up that I really shouldn't have? And that's a healthy thing to do. It's a good thing to do, you know, to reflect. Um, and now it's time to step into the light side of this connection to, um, you know, if we think of the yin and the yang, it's time to get out of that in introspective yin energy into the yang energy to move this forward, to take action. And that's where they're getting stuck. That's where they're struggling because they're assuming it's too late in a way. Um, no, that's not right. Not that it's too late, but it's gonna be really, really hard to get you to hear them out or to get you to trust them. Um, I actually feel it not necessarily. Um, I, I kind of think maybe what they would need to do here is be more consistent perhaps with communication, maybe reach out to you more, um, some sort of tangible offer. So maybe, let's go here or let's go for coffee or something like that. If you're at a huge distance, let's video chat at this time on this date and actually showing up. So I, I think small changes would be enough, but um, I think it's about action changes, not just words, but they're almost thinking that they messed up so badly that they have to bring an equal amount of, of positive change, you know, to balance out. Um, so they're getting themselves a bit stuck here in terms of how. How do I um, bring this back together? How do I get this moving again? Are you even interested? They do suspect you are. You know, two of wands. The door is not completely closed, but you're absolutely not taking any action. You're interested to see what is coming towards you as far as they're concerned. So what they don't like then, sort of in summary, they don't like how things have gone. They don't like that they know a lot of it, as far as they're concerned, is, is on them, is their fault actually. Um, 
They also may feel a little bit upset that you seem to be doing so well. Possibly they're feeling like, how can you be doing so well without me? You know, maybe they thought you would fall apart without them or something, or, you know, don't you miss me? Because it seems like you're so, so content. But of course that could be, you know, an image here. Um, and they feel, they feel sort of threatened by how comfortable you are, because as I said, you know, nothing here can sway you to accept them back into your life, except do you do you want them in in your life? Yes or no? That's it. You know, there's there's nothing here that they can hold over you. Not that they would, but you know, there's nothing that they could. Um, you know, there's nothing they can entice you with. It's all about them. How they're going to show up. How you're feeling about them. And I think that makes them very nervous. Okay. So let's pull one of these then before we move on to what they like. Um, I don't really know yet how these cards are going to fit in with this kind of reading, but I felt really drawn to pick them up, so let's see. Okay, so one final message please, Spirit, for um, what my viewers person doesn't like about this connection, the situation that the connection is in, or about my viewer. Okay, let me get those cards. That's way too many, so um, I'll put them back and we will reshuffle. Okay, so let's see. Let's just deal with today. You can deal with tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, so this feeling of, of being overwhelmed then, you know, the Nine of Swords. Um, when you're in that Nine of Swords energy, everything feels difficult, problematic, heavy, like a, a problem that you just can't solve. So it's almost like they're saying, okay, I'm going to have to address this one step at a time. And you see there's this energy here or this feeling that there is something huge and monumental that they need to produce or to show or to do or to say. Um, whereas really it's not, it's, it's actually much more simple than that. Okay, so right, let's move on to into onto um, what your person likes about you and this connection and this situation. Okay, so spirit, can you please show us what does my viewer's person like about my viewer, this connection, this situation? What do they like, please? the knight of wands they like the passion sagittarius energy there um there's something expansive about this very exciting the pyramid in the background really make me feel that um your person does see you as very um mystical intuitive psychic you know whatever sort of term they place on it and there's something about this connection we do have the lovers as well you know um that they see as almost kind of otherworldly otherworldly inexplicable um surprising unexpected yeah, all of those things. So passion in the broadest sense, you know, the, the, if we think of our life force, when we're most passionate, we feel um, the most energetic, the most enthusiastic, the most alive. Um, and that's in their best moments. That's how, you know, they feel in this connection. Lots of, definitely lots of physical desire as well. Coming out right on top of this nine of pentacles. You know, I was just talking about admiring someone with that card. Okay, what else do they like, please? We have a Seven of Cups. Yeah, there is so much possibility here. You may have, um, you know, whether through conversation or simply through um, the existence of this connection, you've opened up your person's eyes to new possibilities. Um, maybe they're surprised that they could feel this way about someone. You know, maybe they thought they had to settle. Maybe now they're thinking, oh, actually, um, let's say you live in different countries, they might be thinking, wow, what if I moved country? What if I began a whole new life? What if we travel together? What if we started a business together? You know, maybe you're quite different from one another in certain ways. What if you brought those differences together and expanded yourselves, you know, through each other's separate interests or life experiences? Um, your person daydreams, fantasizes about you a lot. I feel that it's a nice place for them to go in their everyday lives if they're bored or stressed or feeling unhappy. Um, you, thoughts of you, feelings around you, this connection always cheers them up. They couldn't be dreaming about you as well. 
I, I'm hearing as well, they never know what they're going to get. So I think you keep them on their toes. Um, and remember, we're looking at what they like about you. So this is something that's positive. There's almost a spontaneity here or an excitement. And it doesn't mean that you have to be the sort of person who, you know, is always out doing something different. You can be, but I feel maybe it's in the things you say. They never quite know what's going to come out of your mouth or um, how you're going to respond to something or what energy you're going to be in. And um, I think that's exciting for them. You're unpredictable, basically in some sort of a way here. Okay, what else do they like, please? Oh, look, see, Ace of Wands. And in when we were looking at what they didn't like, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So no wonder they're kicking themselves because one of the things that's coming out as being very important to them is, um, is having op an opportunity with you, is having this passion with you. Um, and they, they know they've done something to almost cut that off or to make you pull back and so that, so that it's not available anymore. And it's like they're saying, well, I enjoyed that so much. Why was I so, so silly to behave in a way that means I now have absolutely no access to that whatsoever? We have the Six of Cups, and I'm not surprised, you know, this is almost like a gentle energy that's tempering all of this hot, fiery passion here. And I'm actually glad we have this Six of Cups. Um, I know we have the Seven of Cups, but that's not so much loving, maybe. It's, it's about dreams, expansion, options, that sort of thing. Um, the Six of Cups is, again, you feel like home. I feel like I say this in so many readings because, um, you know, it does always come through that your person feels that they can always come to you or to this connection if you're not in contact at the moment um, for feelings of safety, of nurture, of understanding. This can be a past life card as well here. Maybe in the past as well, if you've had moments, like if this is a fiery, passionate connection and you have or have had times where things have you know shot forward and then come to an abrupt stop or an end and then you've reconnected and that's happened several times, they actually really like the fact um, that you've always been able to reunite, to reconcile. Um, you could be one of the first people or few people who have been able to deal with this person's temper, perhaps. Um, and I don't mean like in a violent way, I mean um, that explosive uh, king of, um, what was it, king of wands, you know, someone who's a bit hot-headed, a bit fiery, um, maybe they can overreact even at times, but then they pull it back. Even if you know you're texting, you're talking something like that. And it's like, neither of you really make too much of it because perhaps you can both be this way and you kind of just get over it, you reconcile, things carry on. Um, at least, you know, that's the feeling I'm getting here. That's kind of how they felt about it. And it's like they appreciated that they could almost be authentic with you. Even if it's a behavior they kind of need to get under control a bit, it didn't scare you away. It didn't put you off. Um, and again, I'm not talking about anything that's like abusive or dangerous or anything like that. Um, so if you feel that way, you know, obviously don't accept that, that sort of behavior. Um, yeah. Okay. We have the queen of cups in the reverse. There are times they feel that you kind of, you kind of maybe played hard to get. Um, I don't know if that's in like a fun flirtatious way. If so, that's something they liked. Um, but another thing here with the Queen of Cups in reverse is they see you as being, having always been very attentive to yourself, to your needs, lots of self-nurture, self-care here. So a real appreciation for yourself, a respect for yourself. And that is, um, that's very attractive to them. Maybe it's because you've always known your, um, you've always set boundaries or something like that. Maybe it's how you carry yourself, how you interact with them. And I feel that, that, you know, your person senses you have a great capacity to love. And I did see that with the Ten of Cups. And it's almost like they have felt in the past that it's been a bit of a, me a mission to try and... Um, I'm hearing get into that love. What? How can I explain it? let's say you have a very very small inner circle and your person knows that you're very caring nurturing attentive to the people in that inner circle they really want to get in in there you know um to be one of those people to be adored or cherished by you to be loved by you three of swords in reverse yeah you see this connection's very healing for them they could be carrying wounds from a long time ago here way back maybe even to childhood um 
and they, there is just something here that they find very very comforting about you they may not even have shared with you what this is um and it's like they don't even need to they just need to be around you or to talk to you or to think of you and it's, it's very soothing for them yeah look at that ace of cups ace of uh, wands and i feel the reason maybe you've pulled back because this here ace is absolutely the biggest sign of potential where this could go and I feel like you were open to this you held on to this for as long as you possibly could but it started to become very hurtful for you so it's like you said right okay well yeah we have aces but are we actually going to do anything with this and it's because you know that ace of pentacles wasn't coming through there wasn't maybe the action you needed and I'm seeing the king of pentacles on the back um it you know wasn't coming through so maybe you've pulled back and now your person's saying you know I should have acted sooner or I should have acted in a different way. I should have come through with this commitment. If they're committed to someone or something else, I should have made room for you in my life. I should have left this other connection. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Oh my goodness, Nine of Swords in the reverse. That's crazy. The last card for what they don't like was the Nine of Swords in the upright. So when they're away from you, you know they they miss this soothing energy they their head probably goes that doesn't make sense their thoughts run riot um they overthink maybe they feel very stressed maybe you're someone who can provide good guidance and advice and they miss that but yeah it's like basically being around you being with you nine of swords in reverse the separation distance we have nine of swords in the upright so um you have a direct effect on how good your person feels emotionally and mentally that's sort of that's a bit dodgy in that it's a nice thing of course to have a soothing effect on someone but at the same time you, you know your person really does need to be their their own primary source of you know in terms of providing how well or not they feel as in doing the inner work the inner reflection um feeling stable within themselves that if it's just them by themselves, let's say for a day or whatever it is, they're going to be fine um, and not leaning on other people because that's sort of where codependency comes in, I suppose. Um, but anyway, that's a whole other thing. OK, so Ten of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Again, you know, yes, if they're struggling, if they're carrying a burden, it feels nice, comforting to be with you. We have that Two of Cups again, but this actually this is standing out to me as something separate it's something they're they're projecting onto this it's like they're saying um uh, there's something that's weighing heavily on me can you look can you pass this message on it might not even be to do with what we've, we've been looking at so let me see what this is what's this ten of wands in reverse oh look the tower more Scorpio energy but this is your person saying <laughs> can you please let them know again that if you know if we've had this argument or this ending something that was sudden unexpected I'm still thinking about it I'm still carrying this I'm still upset about it whether it happened yesterday a year ago 10 years ago it's I'm still you know really devastated really upset about this I haven't let this go and we go from the ten of wands to the ace of wands what they don't like is the ace of wands in reverse your person wants a new beginning here and you start with you we have the emperor and they also want you to know that not only can they now be the king of wands and the king of pentacles they can do it all all the kings king of king of cups king of swords your person saying before you wrap this reading up, can you please let my person know, so you the viewer, that I've done so much work internally and I'm just, you know, desperate for this new beginning here to show you, um, I, you know, I want you to see that I'm ready. Okay, so one of these cards for what they do like. Okay, we'll have two. Um, you are capable, you can do this. So again, this is about your independence here, how capable you are and how that inspires them to realise that they are capable. They can do all of the things as well. You are strong enough. Exactly. And look, we have a unicorn. You're a hugely rare find. This person knows it. I mean, not only do you understand them and their moods and maybe they have some explosive ways, whatever, you know, that means and you, you get it. You're not sort of you know you set your boundaries but you're not going to sort of overreact about something if it's been dealt with they think all of this is very rare 
And, um, you know, it's like this unicorn came and stood in front of them and they were like, oh, whatever, that's just a horse with a cone on its head, you know, and you left. And then they realized, oh, it was a unicorn, you know, I've, I've never found one of these. No one has. I probably will never find another unicorn. I, I messed up. I should have been more interested. OK, so let's get some messages what time is it i feel like i've been talking for ages <laughs> um i have been okay we're at half an hour already well let's hope this is interesting for you <laughs> i suppose if it's not you would have already left okay We have Scorpio. Scorpio has come through twice already. We have funny. So, you know, your person could be funny. They could find you very funny. Um, okay, yeah. We have, I like your friends and or family. That's exactly it. Remember uh, that Queen of Cups in reverse? I was saying, if you have an inner circle and your person sees or believes that you're very close with these people, it's like they're desperate to be considered one of your, you know, one of that one of your inner circle um also maybe they've imagined with that seven of cups they dreamed about being very close to your friends to your family you know really being a part of your community we have masculine so we uh, have the emperor as well so we could have strong divine masculine energy there did i say aries for the emperor if not um we have aries energy with the emperor We have Early Riser, and I kind of feel with that that your person may not be getting the best sleep or the most sleep at this time. We did have that Nine of Swords as well, so they might do a lot of thinking about you at night when they're asleep. We have Judgmental. <laughs> thinking about you at night when they're asleep. Okay, maybe they are dreaming about you, but at night when they should be asleep, their, their mind might... Um, you know be on you we have rents a home so this could be someone who does rent a home they could be wanting you to know there's a change going on with their home um let's say they owned a home with someone else but they've split and now your person is temporarily renting or something like that but a change in their situation and let's see what this is we have nervous they're definitely nervous to come forward in case you've already passed a judgment on them and this situation as saying no it's over it's done okay Other messages. Does this person help in the green place? Other messages. We have gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. Okay, I don't really feel that that needs any explaining. I just think, yeah, for some of you, your person knows that this would be hugely unexpected, you know, this connection for it to go ahead, um, that they might have to make some changes that other people would judge, um, and they are worried about this. And, you know, with, with the message coming through earlier about how there are some ways in which you both might be quite different from one another um, and they're seeing you as very, very strong, very independent. Maybe you are someone who feels more comfortable going their own way, doing their own thing, standing firm, you know, in the face of confusion or criticism or judgment from others, whereas your person prefers to go with the flow, to be more under the radar. Okay, what else, please? understanding i see your side of the story yeah and now i know that i had a unicorn in front of me all this time and i just thought it was a horse pretending okay we have absence i feel like a part of me is missing without you yeah with that six of cups energy they do feel that you have known each other forever however long you've actually known each other in this lifetime and if you are in separation they really feel it every day and that's why with the ten of wands reverse and the, the tower they're saying i'm still i heard reeling i'm still reeling from this ending or this separation i'm still carrying this with me responsibilities i have to take care of my financial and emotional needs so that could be linked to the message about the home possibly could also be linked i feel with this gossip card you know <clears throat> excuse me if um let's say they, they have to step out of a family situation or something and people may have their opinions about that as people do you know about everything um 
But this card responsibilities, it always feels to me like someone saying, I'm doing a thing I, that I have to do. It's not something I want to do because if, if it's something we want to do, even if we, we're, it's something that involves us being responsible, we don't necessarily think of it maybe as a responsibility or a duty. You know, it's, it's kind of something that we're happy to do or wanting to do anyway. Okay, and we have chemistry, exactly. I have never felt a passion this intense. Yeah, and as this hot-headed king of wands, again, fire sign or not, um, they may have wanted to dive headfirst into this passion, this chemistry, and you may have said, great, but what about the other aspects of this? Um, and they weren't forthcoming with those other aspects, and now they wish they had have been, um, because you, you're definitely worth it. Okay, I have one more deck here. This deck, if you like it, it's linked in the description box. It's not mine, but um, I will send it. So if you like it, you can check it out. Okay. So final messages please from this person to my viewer. I feel like you're too good for me. Exactly. So that they do have some insecurities here possibly. I'm afraid once you get to know me better, you won't want you won't want me and could find someone better. The thing is, they're showing up as the Emperor. I mean, I'm not sure who you're gonna find that's better. <laughs> you know? Um so the, their insecurities, their fears might not be um accurate here i honestly think someone's doing black magic on me or something if you know how to fix that could you please i just feel blocked at every turn it's aggravating this actually is very much like the message that came through in yesterday's reading so if you haven't watched that you might want to go back because this is exactly the energy that came through that they have a problem and they just don't know how to fix it they're trying they cannot come up with any new ideas here Um, I feel like you don't know who I really am. I'm catfishing you, but I've fallen in love with you. Um, so I'm to the point, I know I need to tell you my true identity and I'm dreading you won't love me once you know. Two messages saying you don't know the real me. As I always say, for some of you, if you are talking to someone online and they don't want to talk with you on the phone, they don't want to show you their face, you know, be suspicious, I would say, especially if you've been talking to them for a while, in case you are actually being catfished by someone. But I think for most of you, this person saying, I've been projecting an image, a version of myself that actually might not be entirely true, or it's just one aspect of me. I have some overbearing and controlling people in my life. I do feel they've, they've shown some of that energy towards you in the past, actually, as well, if I'm honest. Um, I'm afraid we'll try to control you too. So I'm working on good boundaries and gaining respect before bringing you into this dynamic. And that could be to do with um, the gossip card and with the responsibilities as well. Um, will you please send me messages via social media that let me know you're still thinking of me. I'm going through a hard time and need to know you're not going anywhere. So maybe they're hoping you'll directly reach out to them um, with you know, a DM or something. Um, or maybe you have a way of communicating with, with each other indirectly through, you know, posts and that sort of thing. And they're sort of saying, can you do one of those things that we do? <laughs> you know, whatever it is that you do to let me know that um, you're still around. It does sound like they're making some changes and it's not easy actually right now. Ooh, what's this one? I'm finally starting to love myself enough to be open to you loving me. I'm on shaky legs yet, but I'm heading in the right direction. I want to work on this so I'm not too needy or push you away. Yeah, and you know, they have been working on themselves. Um, coming up as the emperor. Okay, so let's get our glass jar. Um, I think this might be one of the last times I use this, but we'll see. Um, we have fantasy, 17, yay with a smiley face, uh, the numbers 8, 12 and 13, 
for the number um, 2888, 2888. We have Kitty Cat, Gemini, Diesel, the, the smell. Um, we have These Arms of Mine, USA. And we have Wear Your Best Pajamas. Okay. So that is everything I have for you today. I hope this has been interesting or has helped. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, the link is in the description box. Um, otherwise, hopefully see you soon. Take care. Bye.